you get the cool suit? And by cool, I mean cumbersome and derivative. Don't take it too hard. I mean, clearly, as you can see, I'm kind of a costume design snob. Okay, fine. It's a nice suit. Sorry. Jeez. Marco, this is so getting old. Where's your partner? <laughs> Don't think I need a partner anymore. Uh, what just happened? I happened. Sandman happened. Now that's just wrong. Not a good time to run out of what? Oh! Yes, you're on a reality show. Uh, the changing faces, completely ridiculous makeovers. Nice, huh? The big man did this to me to get to you. The big man? Who's the big man? Uh, that, that's neat to know only. Look, cleaning your clock's been fun, but I got banks to rob. Oh man, my money! Okay, forget football. As soon as school's out, I'm webbing up Sandman once hey, a- Petey, nice moves yesterday. Heard it's down to you, Harry, and Hobie Brown. Now what am I gonna do? I've got to track him down. Maybe I can find a clue at his old apartment. If that symbiote nearly drove me nuts, I can only imagine what it's going to do to a pumped up lunatic like Brock. Pumped up. That's it. Brock likes to work out by himself all the time, and that might just give me the lead I need. I want you to know, I realize that coming in here, sneaking in here in the middle of the night, twice no less, was not fair to you. You were honest with me, and you showed me this thing, and I, in return, I stepped on you. And I'm sorry. You gotta believe me. I am so sorry. I swear, I was going to sit down and really talk to you about this, but after I got rid of it. I wasn't going to leave you hanging, but the fact of the matter is that I have had run-ins with situations like this. Men. Men stronger and smarter than both of us, who find themselves with something like this. Some source of untested power, and I've seen them destroy themselves. Their family. Everything. I'm not kidding. Literally destroy themselves. You've read the papers, right? You've seen some of the stuff I came up against. That's just some of it. That's just part of the story. This is a seriously twisted world we live in. All of a sudden, it's like everybody is trying to be more than they are. Everyone trying to accelerate the process of... of I don't know what. And now to think that both of our fathers may have inadvertently done the very same thing ten years before anyone else... It just... I can't handle it, Eddie. I can't let this be. I'm saying, I know how bad this can go. I'm not guessing. I know, firsthand. I know this will go badly if you don't destroy this. And the fact that I know all of this, that I have seen all the horrible crap that I have seen, and I still thought that I could do something with this? I mean, the arrogance of me to think that I could... Well, I... I'm just disgusted with myself on levels you can't even imagine. This... This is a freakish genetic mutation. This is unnatural. This is uncontrollable. 
It has to go. What, no acceptance speech? You didn't thank your manager, your agent, your assistant, your shrink, the Dalai Lama? I'm a witch. What can I tell you? So, you had some sudden need for a paperweight, or is there some big market for stolen cable TV awards? Okay, first of all, spandex, you might want to rethink that. Second, not everything's about money, sweetheart. If it's worth something to them, it's worth something to me. And third... <laughs> okay, that was humiliating. And this is so not spandex. spandex, spandex. Time's running out. I'll be calling you at 10 o'clock. Two minutes from now. Robbie, I have to talk to you. Not now, Peter. It's about Dr. Octopus. Listen, kid, we don't have time. You don't understand. I know him. He was my teacher. We're professionals. We know how to deal with these situations. But I think I know how to get to him. No, no, wait. Let's hear him out. We're tampering with the most important thing in Octavius' life. Science. Unless we understand that, Felicia and Mr. Jameson will be... Let me talk to him. Hello? Dr. Octavius? This is Peter Parker. I was one of your students years ago at science camp. Hmm, Parker? You probably don't remember me, but you taught me how important science is. I've read every paper you've published. Uh, uh, sustained fission fusion reactions, neurochemical fusion... What about... fusion? Potential of the Super Collider. You never wrote that. You were testing me, weren't you? And you passed. Do you know about my cold fusion battery? Of course. I'd give anything to see that battery. Then you're the perfect one to bring me the ransom. And after that, I'll show it to you. Usually it's the spider that traps the fly, not the octopus that traps the spider. She's a good woman. I sometimes think there isn't a sonar in existence that can sound out the depth of her compassion. But right now, that isn't what I need. What I need is to get away and up and out. Just out. I don't even care where I go. I just want to go. And I'm not going to stop until I get tired. Unfortunately, it takes a real long time for me to get tired. By that time, I could be in New Jersey. I don't even know anybody in New Jersey. And here's another thing. When I designed this suit, why the heck didn't I design it with pockets? Anything I carry, I gotta carry it in a web pouch. The FF have pockets in their uniforms. Reed Richards alone are huge. But that's because he has to carry trans-dimensional mega-doodads and whirly-doos in them. <laughs> or maybe he's just really happy to see Sue. Of course, if I had pockets, stuff would fall out of them every time I did this. Okay, so maybe I could have pockets with zippers. Maybe Velcro. Yeah, that'd work. I'd be creeping up behind somebody and have to get something out. Zip! What's that smear on the wall, Mommy? That used to be Spider-Man, honey. What killed him? A zipper. Some said Velcro, but the Daily Bugle says it was a zipper, and I believe the Bugle. Wow, he must have been real stupid, huh? Yes, honey, he was. <sighs> Why the heck am I thinking about pockets anyway? Because it's easier than thinking about my life lately? And why should that bother you, Peter? Oh, no reason. Everything's fine. Everything's just done. Except that whenever I'm really bugged about something and I really need to go pound a bad guy, there's never a bad guy around. But whenever I'm in a really good mood, yeah, like that happens more than twice a year, there's always four or five bad guys, or a sinister six, or seven, or nineteen, waiting to bust my chops and ruin my day. <sighs> Bugs.
bugged. Spider-Man. <laughs> I made a funny. Um, maybe I'd better go now. 